Welcome back to another episode of Nintendo Switch games to buy before rare and expensive. And thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get right into this list with Castlevania Advance Collection. And this one was made by Limited Run, the physical copy. But you can still find copies on eBay around maybe 60 bucks, maybe a little more than that. But also, I bought my copy through Video Games Plus, a Canadian retailer. And if you buy through them, you're actually paying less if you spend at least the $80 USD to get the free shipping. I believe I paid like 30 to 40 USD from Video Games Plus because they have reprints of this game right now. So just a tip for all my collectors out there. And this collection does feature Castlevania, Circle of the Moon, Harmony of Dissonance, and Aria of Sorrow. Two classic, three classic Game Boy Advance games of Castlevania. And you also get Castlevania Dracula X. Definitely a must-own collection for those who are into Metroidvania games, Castlevania games. So that's number one on this list. Let's continue with Yoku's Island Express. And shout out to Zoo from Flipping the Switch, another YouTube channel. He actually put me on to this game with his awesome review that he did of it. And he said that this one is definitely a hidden gem Metroidvania with pinball mechanics. Use a unique blend of pinball mechanics, platforming, and open world exploration to unlock the secrets of Makumana Island and this is one that I'm definitely looking forward to playing this one looks great and I was able to find this one at GameStop for 20 bucks when I noticed that it's going for 35 or more on eBay right now so if you find this one out in the wild or GameStop or something definitely pick it up for the good price or you might want to even get it off of eBay before it potentially becomes more rare and expensive I believe it will because I believe this one is definitely out of print it's an indie game it looks great it got great reviews my guy Zoo did a great review in it so I'll put a link to his review actually in the description of this video if you want to hear more about this game because he definitely sold me on this game and made me buy it. Ori the Collection is definitely another must own for all Metroidvania fans out there. In this game you get two classic Ori games with Ori in the Blind Forest Definitive Edition and Ori and the Will of Wisp. And I recently just picked this one up because I heard these games were so great and I do love my Metroidvanias. And I have to say that the graphics and art style and the music in this game are just phenomenal. They look and sound so cinematic, but also the gameplay in this game as well. The platforming mechanics, the combat is great. And you also get a skill tree where you can upgrade your character Ori to navigate this Metroidvania world. And I haven't played a lot of it yet, admittedly. I just picked it up because I realized that you can actually buy this collection cheaper online than anywhere else. You can find this for around 30 bucks. But I've noticed that the physical copies are running a little low in stock. So I definitely wanted to make sure that I pick up Ori the collection before it probably goes up in price. So definitely pick this one up before it becomes more rare and expensive. Now, next on the list here is... Hades, a phenomenal action game here. This game is great, great combat, great gameplay, great music. And I believe they are working on a sequel for this one. And I don't see physical copies of this out in the wild a lot. I think as time goes by, this one will definitely become more rare and expensive. Hades is a phenomenal roguelike action dungeon crawler. The combat in this game is great. This is definitely a must play one of the best indie games that have come out in recent times and you definitely might want to pick this one up before it becomes harder to find and more expensive. Next on this list here we have Prinny Presents NIS Classics Volume 3 and in this collection you get two JRPGs for the first time localized for the West La Pucelle Ragnarok, I believe you pronounce it, and Rhapsody, a musical adventure. I'm definitely looking forward to trying out both of these JRPGs, especially Rhapsody, as I hear this is the origin of the Disgaea series, what they made those games based on, or gave them inspiration, kinda. And now that I have all three Rhapsody games, I'm definitely looking forward to trying out that trilogy of games. Also, this physical edition comes with a one disc soundtrack and a soft cover art book. So it's really cool, kind of like a 
collector's edition here. And also, this is another game that I ordered from Video Games Plus along with that Castlevania collection. And this one, I believe, I paid about 35 USD for. Definitely cheaper than you'll find it from anywhere else. And I don't get paid from Video Games Plus. They're not a sponsor. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I'm just trying to give you all the scoop on where to get rare games from for a good price. The next game on this list to pick up before it potentially becomes rare and expensive, Earth Atlantis. Specifically, this Elite Edition. There is a Standard Edition, but I believe this edition will definitely be more valuable, valuable because there was only 4,000 copies of this edition made. It has the inside artwork here. Also tells you the numbering. And it also comes with a Certificate of Authenticity. And also comes with this cool art book, shows you some of the bosses and stuff that you fight in the game. You fight these giant robotic sea monsters, and you're actually in a submarine in this post-apocalyptic world underwater, trying to survive in this kind of mix-up between a shooter and a Metroidvania. This is a really cool game from what I have played of it so far. I only beat about the first two bosses. But I definitely like this one. This is definitely a unique experience. Nothing that I've played like uh, before. And I just came across this one at a local retro game store one day and found it. So that was pretty cool. Now next up on this list is Hollow Knight. Another classic Metroidvania with a lot of emphasis on the combat. And this physical edition comes with all the DLC on the cartridge. I believe there was two prints of this, one that only comes with three of the DLC packs and you have to download the other. But this one I believe comes with all four. So this is definitely the physical you wanna go for if you can find it. And with Hollow Knight Silk Song coming out soon, I believe that this edition, the first Hollow Knight, will definitely become more rare and expensive. I don't see this at retailers anywhere. And I believe this one is going for the one with all the DLC, close to 40 or more at least, and there's definitely less copies of it out there, I believe. So definitely pick up Hollow Knight before it becomes more rare and expensive if you're into Metroidvanias with a good emphasis on combat. Next on this list here, Dragon Ball Z Kakarot for the Nintendo Switch, a new Power Awakened set. I've noticed that this one you're really not finding anymore and even used copies of this have always held their value and never really went below $35 to $30. And I believe this one will definitely be more rare and expensive, especially if you have the Steelbook with it, which I got from the Bandai Namco website. They had this on sale for $20 bucks with the Steelbook. With the shipping, it came out to about $35, but that's about what this game goes for just for a pre-owned copy anyway. And from what I hear, this is a great action RPG, tells the original Dragon Ball Z story pretty well. So definitely one to pick up before it becomes more rare and expensive, especially if you're a fan of Dragon Ball Z and action RPGs. I don't like the way I said that. Expensive, uh, messed up, but expensive. Let's go. So previously in this video series, I have covered all the other Pikmin games, and I definitely believe that Pikmin 4 will also be a rare and expensive game in the future as if you look at Pikmin 1 and 2 for the Nintendo GameCube and the Nintendo Wii and even Pikmin 3 I believe will become more rare and expensive in the future because the Pikmin games have always held their value. The GameCube and Wii versions still go for like 60, 70 and I believe they were even going more for more than that at times so after beating Pikmin 1, I'm definitely a fan of the Pikmin franchise and looking forward to playing these games. I'd say if you're a fan of strategy RPGs, you definitely want to check these games out. I recommend getting the Pikmin 1 plus 2 collection. And if you like that, definitely pick up Pikmin 3 and 4 as well. And a quick correction, these games are not strategy RPGs, but they're real-time strategy games. So keep that in mind. Sorry for the mistake. And the final game on this list is Yoshi's Crafted World. Now, I don't know if this game will be the most rare and expensive, but I believe it can definitely get more expensive than what it's going for right now, as it might potentially be out of print, and Nintendo might not continue producing copies of this one. 
This is a really chill, cozy 2D platformer collectathon. So if you're into the Yoshi's games like Yoshi's Story, Yoshi's Crafted World, and you like those kind of casual 2D platformers, I definitely recommend picking this one up anyway, especially if you're a fan of first party Nintendo games. But this one is definitely harder to find out there and you can still get this for a good price. So I recommend picking it up sooner than later. And if you like this content, I just want to thank you so much for watching until the end of the video. If you're not already, please like and subscribe. That would help out greatly and I would really appreciate you. Until the next video, peace.